We want to help you plan for eventualities and as our theme this morning suggests, go for growth. Today we will discuss matters related to approaching business growth with practical references, developing governance discipline for responsible growth, going public as a growth strategy, and determining whether public listing is indeed the right choice for your business. What is probably common about everyone here is that you're operating your business and you're looking for growth, you're looking for sustainable growth, and you want your business to be successful. But what does growth and success mean? I mean, we can objectively measure growth from year to year, percentage growth over the prior year and over the year before, revenue growth, customer acquisition, net profits, and so on. So when it comes to scaling your business and measuring growth, it can be done pretty objectively. It is very important in business that we talk about growth. At the stock exchange, what we have is access to capital. And the avenue for access to capital is the same whether you are a junior market company or you are a main market company. I has just spoken to um, one of the major areas that you have to prepare for in order to list on the Jamaica Stock Exchange. And that is the question of governance. So governance is not something in the air that sounds good and I'll get to it someday. It's something you have to do now because there are laws and regulations that require it. All right, so don't be daunted. Everything has to be scaled to your business. I expect you to learn the best practices, do what is required by law, and then obviously roll it out based on the size of your business. I want to emphasize that growth is a key underlying motivation for going public. When we think about the financial objectives, we think about unlocking value for shareholders. All of you in this room are entrepreneurs, business owners. You spend most of your time uh, in your business. How many of you know the value of your business? What are those top two or three factors that influence growth that you would love every entrepreneur here to know and to be aware of? The importance of understanding your numbers. Um, you know, your financial statement, not just having an accountant who tells you that this is what it is at the end of the year, but you understand what's your profit, um, understanding what's your profit margin, also understanding, you know, what's your revenue. A lot of time was spent on an important factor this morning, and that is governance, right? It's, it's critical, and it is probably the most important element of the business when we look at it from a risk perspective. I was very encouraged when you said now is an opportune time for entrepreneurs. I went deep in thoughts and I look back when you spoke about 30 years ago, the limited opportunities. And so to the audience, I encourage you, take advantage of it. The workshop today was very informative. The information was very rich actually my first in-person event with SWI and I'm particularly impressed. I got a lot particularly from the governance section, right? The governance section which showed me what are some of the structures and also resources that I can access to be able to build that within my own organization. I'm trying to expand, I'm trying to diverse and go into other sectors of business and it's great to know that when I'm ready to do these things that Scotia is here for me. With the support that is given to the SME sector I was very pleased with that. I did get some great gems and some takeaways. I'm looking forward to implementing in my own business.